like the wood heap just pulled out a couple of bits one bit I think I'm going to have as a hair the other one possibly a bear Right, I'm going to mark this with some red spray paint. I usually use like a little timber crayon, um, but you're not really going to see the marks very well. So I'm going to mark it out with uh, a bit of red red spray paint, just so you can see the rough shape. Um, when they cut this tree, they cut it at an angle, so I didn't really want to lose a load of wood flattening it off so I shall use that angle hopefully a little bit in this uh, in this design so we've got rabbit's head it's going to be a bit smaller than that then over his ears ears come down like that and over his shoulder that here his front foot coming down like that his hips will be here with his back leg coming out there like that okay does that look anything at all like a rabbit in the spray paint i don't think so right and then his that'll be his tummy just as well i'm not a graffiti artist so my first cut is going to be sort of a diagonal and down from the head and the ears. Also I'm going to cut off a bit of this paint because it's really really wide. The paint itself is about an inch wide. So but that's just a rough idea hopefully so you can see. Nicky dooky. Right I'll get on. So I've done that diagonal, what I'm going to do now on the top here, <coughs> that's kind of the front of the face, so I'm going to draw a line along there, that's the front, and then here, because we're going to lose a lot of this on the sides, we're going to have to grab it in the middle here, oopsie, trying to draw it and let you see what I'm doing at the same time so yeah so this is the front of the head going round and then the ears Whoop, let me bring you around here right so we've got front of the head face then the ears will come down like that with a gap in the middle obviously Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Something like that, okay. So I'm going to drop this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully.
Right, so I've got the hip shape out here. But something to remember is that if you do it from there, it's very square. This will have to go in towards the towards the middle section here. So it, yeah, so it'll come in like that. Okay, you'll see. <laughs> and I've also got to thin the the head down so we'll have that as the main part of the nose and then they'll puff out then for the for the rabbit's cheeks so from here I kind of draw sorry from here I draw the cheek bit on here Yeah, so I draw the like their big chubby cheek bit there, and then like their little uh, mouth bit here, and towards the front, and then their eye. Okay, sort of around here somewhere. So yeah, we've got the cheek. Let me just put this eye in somewhere. So this eye will go in there. So we've got the cheek and then we've got a little munchy mouth bit. Right, I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but I won't bore you with it. I'll get that cut out and then I'll show you. Yeah, so it's looking a little bit more rabbity. Well, the head part is. And then we're going to have to do, like the chest is going to be around here. And then we need to separate the legs, the front legs around there. And as I've already said, that is going to have to kind of go inwards, kind of at that angle. Okay, let's do a bit more. through here kind of have some what they call negative space in there so I'll push through to the ears like to the back there so that we'll have a neck and I'm going to come around here to keep rounding that neck off and as you see that's kind of curling round there now round to the bump but you have to remember this bit here to leave a bit in here for a tail. Okay. So, but obviously this side I haven't done yet. Uh, what I am going to do as well is push the saw right through here to create some negative space in there. I'll do that now and then I'll pause it for a bit whilst I balance up the other side. Got that negative space, push it through. Like that. It just 
makes it pop out that bit more if you can create that those gaps through as you see my fingers coming through the other side and then little tail next um gonna have start putting his back feet in okay taking shape now got his feet coming through back feet what I've got to do now is really work on these ears and thin them out a bit. <laughs> 